columnist Lydia Polgreen suggested it could work, but quote, it will require a leap of faith and a whole lot of help, financial and otherwise. Of course, financial help, even if large, is preferable to a military intervention that could turn into a quagmire. But it depends on Haiti's elites working together in ways that have eluded them for years to solve the country's political gridlock. Unfortunately, it's not even clear how that gridlock could be solved. The key demand since before Ariel Henry was even appointed to office has been new elections. But it's hard to see how it's physically possible to hold them amid such violence. Even if the gangs could be convinced to allow free and fair elections, foreign policy points out that it likely wouldn't result in a long-term change. As we covered earlier, the majority of Haiti's elites are connected to the gangs, and with a fragmented system of over 250 registered political parties, any election might just create new gridlock and new resentments without fixing anything. Faced with such a complex crisis, it might be tempting for leaders to just throw up their hands and to declare, well, what can we do about it? And walk away. 